Hi guys, it's John from Android Addicts with a quick update on the Bixby Routines video which I did a couple of months back. Now, initially I thought these were actually available on the S9, but it turns out that it's not. It's only available currently on the S10. So, obviously I had to change the name of the video, the title and description, and remove it uh, from that video. But I have since found that Samsung actually developed Bixby Routines quite a while ago and it's actually still possible to get that onto an older phone. So here I have my S8. I've got a copy of Samsung Routines, which I'm going to install, and we're going to just compare it with Bixby Routines and see how it looks. So this APK is available on my website. I'm going to put a link in the description, so click on that if you want to download it. Once you've downloaded it, click Install. Okay, once the app is installed, just click on Done and go back to your home screen. Now what you're going to want to do is pull down from the top bar here and you'll see that there's little number one here which means something new has appeared. So we're going to click on the little menu here, click button order and Bixby Routines has appeared here so we're going to, sorry Samsung Routines has appeared so we're just going to drag it into the uh, notification bar at the top here and we now have access to it. So to load it up we're going to click and hold on it and it's going to ask you to install a plugin. Just click install. This is required for it to work. It's about 9, 10 megabytes in size, so wait a few seconds and you should see a message pop up on the screen once it's been installed. There we go, it's installed. Okay, so apart from the look and feel of this, it is pretty much the same as Bixby Routines. So we get the option to add routines, we get uh, some recommended routines here for different things. But basically the functionality is pretty much exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is just go uh, side by side comparison of adding a Samsung routine and a Bixby routine. So obviously Samsung routines here on the left and Bixby routines here on the right. So we start off with our name which up at the top here is obviously uh, the name so we'll leave it as that. On here we do need to put something in, we'll just call it test. In fact we'll just call it test over here as well. Okay so now we have our if condition. So it's slightly different wording on the uh, Samsung routines, it's just got condition. So we're going to add a condition and here we're going to select the if condition. So as you can see, side by side we've got date and time here and the interface is slightly different. So here we get, when we click on it we get to actually select it straight away, select different days. But here we need to click inside on the left hand side and then we can select our different things which again, it's just a slightly different interface. You can add more if statements or conditions if you like, but we're just gonna click next on here and we're gonna select the action, which is the then in Bixby routines. So although most of the functionality is the same, there are a few differences. So if we look at the actions here, compared to the actions on the uh, Bixby routines on the right here, uh, we have something which I've requested for Bixby Routines, which is in the sound mode. So sound mode on Bixby Routines, you can either set the sound to be vibration, mute, or to have sound on. But here, on Samsung Routines, you actually get the option, if I can find it, to do various different things. So we can actually set sound mode, but then we can select the volume of the ringtone, we can set the media, notification volume, which is the thing I really wanted to see on the uh, Bixby Routines and of course the system volume as well. So we can set all those up and it's quite nice, but here it's actually pretty basic and it's, well, it's, it's rubbish in comparison to be honest. So the subtle differences are there, but overall it's the same type of functionality as you would see in Bixby routines, if a little bit improved. And again, you can see here, turn things on and off as we do the Bixby routines. So if you have any problems setting up the Samsung routines on your phone, just leave me a message down below and I'll see if I can help. But other than that, hopefully this will help some people who I may have confused with the Bixby routines video to get a pretty much similar, if not better, functionality on your Galaxy S9 or S8 or even S7 if you've got an S7. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will uh, help you out. I'm not going to go through setting and adding up routines. You can look at my other video for the functionality of that pretty much the same, just slightly different wording. So uh, yeah, let me know how you get on down below. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future.